Welcome to the mightiest flea market in the south. Or at least, that's what that sign says. The Oldsmore Flea Market, located right here in my local community on Tampa Bay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Tampa Jay, and as you can see and tell behind me, by all of these cars, the Oldsmar Flea Market is open. So we're going to go explore it. Journey with me my friends, there is much ahead. We are now free to walk through the main entrance of the flea market. I've been coming to this flea market for over 25 years, but this is the first time in a year and a half since we've explored it together. Right inside the main entrance, there is always these fresh produce stands. And as you can see, they are open. Tomatoes. Just by looking to the first branch to the west off of the produce section of the flea market, setting up my location there. But just by looking down this stretch, I can tell that pretty much everything is going to be open. If you ever come to Florida and find yourself buying too many souvenirs, I need some extra space to take them back on the plane. Well, the luggage store here at Oldsmore Flea Market has plenty of room and options for you. These shoulder strap bags are very cool looking. Very tactical. Be a great bag to put my camera stuff in. It's been a while since I've seen some antiques and it's a good sight. Check out these cast iron skillets. They make me think of grandma's fried chicken or cornbread. Look over here. Griswold, like Clark Griswold? Come down to the Oldsmar Flea Market and check out the gems and rocks and all kinds of different awesome rocks and artifacts here. Check this out. Look here, there's some fresh geos for you to crack open yourself if you want to. All sorts of them. Plenty of golf courses in Florida and plenty of golf balls here at the Oldsmar Flea Market at Big Mike's Golf balls, clubs, and bags. Now this is Ed's place. I'm assuming it's Ed's place because that sign over there on that post says, this is Ed. Will you look at all the toys here? Now this is quite awesome. All kinds of stuff to look through here. I'm just gonna pan down the counters here. Look at all these barn animals. Looks like a lot of Happy Meal toys in there too. And it just keeps going on and on. Speaking of Happy Meal toys, probably Burger King, McDonald's, Hardee's, name them all. Probably all in here. If you look there at that back stretch before the Barbies, check out those Mr. Potato Heads. And look, I see Fozzie Bear in there. Do you see Fozzie? Do you see him? He's in there. Also, I see, oh, look, Bobby's World. There's Bobby, I remember those toys. Look at this antique tin dollhouse. That's pretty cool looking. Let's see if there's anyone inside there. No one in there. Nope. Looks like the lights are on, but no one's home. Well, hello, Mama Bear. I haven't seen the Bernstein Bears walking around in quite some time. Oh no, shark out of water. Shark out of water. Hey, it's Twinkie the Kid. Hey, that's a big Twinkie. Also, the snack shack is open. Plenty of hot dogs, hamburgers, Italian sausage, cool drinks, and even adult beverages. Oh, and ice cream. Looking down this stretch of shops, I can tell that there are some booths that have not opened back up, including the cell phone accessory, Game One toys, knives, and stun guns. That hasn't opened, and wow, that's a, that's a combination of goods they're selling there. We want you to buy a DVD. Look at that, Uncle Sam. Well, I'll think about it, but I'm more here for the VHS. Well, guys, I want to show you one of my secret walls of VHS tapes, all devoted to horror movies. Welcome to Fred's, or I'd like to call him Dead Fred's. Now, starting at the top, we have the entire collection of the Twilight Zone each of those VHS tapes have five episodes, or maybe four episodes, but they are all five bucks each. But as I pan down slowly, you're gonna start seeing some familiar names 
popping out at you. These are all horror tapes. Just in this frame, I can see Jaws letterbox over there. Some Frankenstein Unbound. A lot of vampires movies. A barking dog in the background. Son of Kong. And look, Mighty Joe Young and the Predator. I like how he's put the bats and the skeleton and the rats popping out here. Check out this Universal Classic. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Wow, the original invasion. The War of the Worlds. Oh, and in this stack, not really a horror movie, but a movie I haven't seen in quite some time. Almost there. Enemy Mine with Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. That was a good movie. And check this out, a whole section devoted to Alfred Hitchcock. And I see some of my favorite Hitchcock films mixed in here. Here's one right here, North by Northwest, starring Cary Grant. And also, Rebecca, I actually watched that not too long ago. That was actually Hitchcock's first American-made film, and it won Best Picture. Laurence Olivier and Joan Fontaine. Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief, starring Cary Grant and Grace Kelly. I just watched it a couple weeks ago. I enjoyed it. It's a remarkable piece of cinematography, all filmed in the French Riviera. They also have Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Alfred Hitchcock's television series. And look, four original uncut episodes, but not a bad price for a buck each. I personally have my own VHS player, and I do from time to time, as you've seen on this channel, enjoy watching them. And very rare to find, and available here, Walt Disney's Song of the South. It's on VHS and DVD. He also has it on DVD, say. Just moving right along here at the Old Smart Flea Market, having a good time. It feels so good to be out and about here in my local community, seeing people having a piece of normalcy. One of my favorite stores to visit here at the flea market, Steve Stuff. He's been here for at least 25 years. A giant buffalo sits right here to the left of the entry. Look at the old phone booth right behind the buffalo. Look, this phone booth still has a phone. Wonder if it works. I doubt it though. Oh, it's a Harley Davidson. Look at that. Well, thank you, sir. I'll have some. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. So this is supposedly a roofing nail from Westminster Hall in England. The sign says it's from the time of King John. Bugsy Siegel's pocket watch from 1927. Now, Steve says he has all the paperwork for the authenticity of all these items in the store. There is something cool tucked away behind every nook and cranny in here. That is pretty impressive. Bugsy Siegel's pocket watch. And there's Bugsy Siegel right there. He used to own the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas, and I was just there, and I remember seeing the statue in the courtyard or the placard for Bugsy Siegel. Very, very cool. What's that? Ooh. Oh, that's when he got killed. Ooh, that's gruesome. Yeah, he got whacked by the mob, supposedly. Another place we visited here before on this channel, my favorite gaming store in all the flea market. Way back a couple years ago on my other YouTube channel called The Cartridge Warriors, we went through the entire collection here. And as you can see, there's a, there was a lot to go through. There's a, here's one I haven't seen in a while. Magic Johnson's Fast Break. The video games here are decently priced, five to 10 bucks per cartridge. And also you can play them before you go and make sure they're working. They've got every console set up over here. I see a GameCube over there even, N64. And look, the classic Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. An Atari 7800 Pro system is available with a copy of Dig Dug sticking out of it. And she says, the lady that works there says it works. It is a great day to be out at the flea market. Not too hot, 
Definitely not cold. It looks like Oldsmar Flea Market has finally freed Gator J. For years there was an alligator beyond this fence inside the pond, but he has been relocated to a place where he can move around and be a little more in his natural habitat, which is okay for me. If you're in the market for some old furniture, well, there's plenty of furniture down at the Oldsmark Flea Market. I'd say long before this section sold furniture, they sold some sort of Native American artifact, maybe. This giant store here that's painted orange sticks out like a sore thumb. Be a very nice place to have a booth at the flea market, but it is currently sitting empty. Giant dandelions, five bucks each. Every time I see a giant dandelion, I think of that scene from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. Well, it looks like I found the patio furniture section. And lots of it. Most of this stuff looks brand spanking new. This is rather new here. Recently new. Or maybe it's just expanded. And a place I always have fun visiting. Everything Birds, where they have absolutely everything you need for your bird. Welcome back to the bird room, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of birds in here. Look at these fellows over here. Hey, buddy. How you doing there? Well, how's it going, my friend? You're a beautiful bird. He doesn't know what to think of me. These rose-rusted cockatoos look like they're taking a nap. Oh yeah, they're tired. Well, I'll let you guys be. Enjoy your lunch. Good to see everyone today. See you, buddy. Till next time. Let's stop at the Bargain Depot USA. It looks like they have a wide variety of fresh local honey. All kinds of honey there. Check it out, they even have some locally made hot sauce. A wide selection of hot sauce. And we do their teas. They sell the main ingredient. Specialty teas. Specialty teas here. This whole island here devoted to all of the different kinds of teas or purchase, and they even have a sample here. You can taste some tea. Also, to my local Tampanians, they have hand sanitizer, masks, and these little PPE kits that have masks and hand sanitizer within them. And the hand sanitizer is 70%, so if you're looking for some of that and you're local, come on down to the depot at the Old Smart Flea Market. Handcrafted incense also has another name. It's called Stinkin' Pretty. All of the handmade soaps are made right here in the shop. Ooh, it smells good too. There's some lavender, some love spell, and some pomegranate and Eve. Or no, I'm sorry, peppermint and Eve. I need some glasses. I came back to the luggage store. I'm gonna purchase this bag. It's gonna make a great camera bag. I like that it's a one shoulder strap bag. Perfect for on the go, especially when I'm traveling doing videos. Well guys, I hope you had fun in there. I know I sure had fun. And it wouldn't have been fun without you. Thanks for joining me at the Oldsmar Flea Market. The mightiest flea market in the south, or at least that's what the sign says when you walk in. <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun. 
I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun in there. I, I showed some stuff, but I only showed the tip of the iceberg. I always try to show something different every time I come out to the flea market. And my ultimate goal is to try to help local business, small business. And I think we would all agree that local business needs all the support it can get right now, now more than ever. But I'll stop ranting and rambling and in this video. Thanks for watching me. If it's your first time here, come on back. I am Tampa J and I love to make videos. As I always say, there is much ahead, my friends. Meaning, I'll see you in the next video, right? <laughs> well, I hope I see you there.